please welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a a a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve your one shoulder tulip dress with eye slit so basically your one shoulder it means you're going to have one shoulder while this other part is going to be a tube effect and also your dress is going to have eye slit so if it's something you're interested in learning how to achieve then stay tuned and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe let me know if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section and let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this dress you need your shoulder measurement bust measurement waist hip and your gown length i know you might want to ask me that what about our shoulder to nipple what about our nipple to nipple our shoulder to under bust all those things are entailed in your size chart and if you haven't watched my video on size charts please go ahead and do that i'm also going to put the link in the description box and size charts are available so let's go ahead now and go now our shoulder measurement is 14 14 divided by 2 we have 7 our bust is 36 36 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 11 inches our waist is 34 34 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 10.5 inches our hip is 38 38 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 11.5 inches our gown length is 60 inches 60 plus 2 we have 62 inches so basically these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your one shoulder to lip dress but also note that because this form of dress is going to have a bustier effect it simply means that we are going to deduct our shoulder to our waistline from our gown length so that we can have the upper part to be our bustier effect and we have the lower part to be our gown length you get it right so let's go ahead now and deduct our shoulder to waist so we have our shoulder to waist shoulder to waist we have 17 inches so 17 plus 1 for our sewing allowance we have 18 inches so now for the lower part of the dress for the lower part of the dress we are going to have 60 minus 17 so we are going to have 60 minus 17 so when you minus 60 from 17 you are going to have 43 inches you're going to have 43 inches now this 43 inches now you go ahead and add your two inches for your sewing allowance you have 45 inches so it basically means that for the upper part which is our shoulder to our waistline we have 18 inches while for the lower part which is our waistline to our desired gown length we have 45 inches which includes all the allowance so by the time you add your 17 inches plus your 43 inches you are basically going to have your gown length which is your 60 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your one shoulder to lip dress now another thing you are also going to take note in this this form of dress is you are going to determine how many inches you want to take off for the sleeve that you don't want to have a shoulder so note that that totally depends on you you can decide you want it to be four inches of five inches of six inches you want to slay with the big boys you can use eight inches okay it all depends on you at this point but note that one part we are going to have your regular shoulder while the second part you are going to have like your off shoulder effect so if you have any question please go ahead and drop your questions in the comment sections training are available both online training and physical training don't forget to join us on facebook C G Designs on Instagram C G Designs. I'm gonna put it on the screen. So now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial. So guys, the first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our basic measurements. So we have shoulder to arm o nine inches, shoulder to bust nine and a half, shoulder to under bust fourteen inches, shoulder to waist 18 inches waist to hip 9 inches waist to knee length we have 17 inches 
and of course I have my gown length so once I'm done now the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and connect the lines so guys once you are done connecting the lines the next thing you have to do now is to go ahead and mark your dart measurements right so we'll go ahead now and mark our dart our dart is four inches mark your dart measurements four inches four inches four inches once you are done go ahead and connect the lines together on your waistline mark half inch on both sides on your waistline mark half inch on both sides now you connect the lines together connect your waist to your hip and this is what you have now the next thing you are going to do now is because our mono strap is going to have like bustier effect you go ahead and extend your dart line to your shoulder line you extend it this is what you have on your under bust go ahead and mark half inch on both sides on your under bust mark half inch on both sides then you go ahead and connect it to your bust line and then you connect what you have on your bust line to your waist this is what you have next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark five inches on your shoulder that mark five inches on your shoulder that connect it to your bust line so once you connect it this is what you have now the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your measurement so my bust measurement is 10.5 my waist measurement is 9.5 my hip measurement these are our hip line you go ahead and mark your hip measurements on your hip line my hip measurement is 11 and half so this is what i have now let's go to the gown length you discover that the pattern paper i'm using is one full pattern paper and that is because the pattern paper we have is a bundle and it comes in about 60 inches so i have so I have the whole length of my dress on one single pattern paper and it's available. So on the gown length now, on our gown length, right, on the hip measurements we have 11 and a half inches. On my gown length, I'm also going to go ahead and mark 11 and a half inches because I don't want it to be fitted at the lower part. So we have 11 and a half. On the gown length, I'll just mark it here. I will extend it. We have 11 and half inches so connect what you have from your gown length now to your hip we're gonna head now to connect it now you connect your hip to your waistline your waist to your bust this is what you have now for us to be able to achieve that monostrap effect i'm going to cut out my fab my now is to have a mono strap effect right there are two ways in which you can do that you can achieve it on your pattern paper first or you can achieve it on your fabric so i'll go ahead now and fold my shoulder dart you should always fold your shoulder dart before taking your shoulder measurement so my shoulder measurement now is seven inches my shoulder measurement is seven inches I'll go ahead with my arm o curve and connect the lines. So this is what I have. I'm not going to be cutting out this arm o. So guys, after cutting it out, this is what we have. You will discover that I did not cut out the arm o because I want to explain it on the fabric on how to get the mono strap effect. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and open this up into two. We have the lower part and then we have the upper part. 
so this is what we have for the back block the first thing we are going to do we are still making use of the basic lines that we used for the front block is to go ahead and mark our zip allowance i'm making use of two inches for my zip allowance so i'll mark the two inches all the way once i'm done i'll go ahead and connect this together after that the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our dart measurement which is four inches on our waistline your dart measurements hip line dart measurements now you go ahead and connect it together on your waistline go ahead and mark half inch on both sides connect it to your bust and from your bust connect it to your connect it to your waist and also to your hip measurement this way now once you are done the next thing you are going to do is to basically go ahead and mark your basic measurements so for the back block it's actually very simple uh shoulder measurements is seven inches all your measurements start after your zip allowance seven inches our bust is 10.5 our waist is nine and a half our hip measurement is 11 so the same measurement you have for your hip is what you are going to extend also to your gown length this way so i'll go ahead now and mark this once i'm done i'll connect it making use of my pattern master connect it to your gown length now you also connect your hip to waist waist to bust right now making use of your arm o curve you also go ahead and connect your shoulder to your arm o this is basically what we have also for the back block so i'll go ahead now and cut so once you are done this is what you have for the back block so for the back block you can decide that you want to leave it this way or you can decide that you want to open this up it all depends on you but because i opened my front block let me just go ahead and open this up this is optional right so this is what we are going to have now for the back block so when we move to the fabric i'll show you guys how to get your neckline and also your slits so guys i've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two after folding my fabric into two i've placed my pattern paper on it so this is the lower part of the front block so once i'm done now i'll go ahead and cut this out so guys after cutting it out this is what we have so don't forget that we are supposed to have slits you know we are going to have slits at the lower part so i'll go ahead now and just open I'll open this up so that I can show you guys how to I'll show you guys how to get your slits so what I'm going to do now is your slit is going to fall where you have your dart line basically so that's where your slit is going to fall so this is our dart line making use of this pattern paper so you just go ahead now and you know just mark it all the way So this is it here. This is it, right? These are four inches from our midpoint. So this is the midpoint. You just mark your dart. Now the next thing you are going to do is to determine how high or how low you want your slit to be. And note that that depends on you. You can take it very high. You can take it very low. It all depends on how you want it to be. So there is no like specific measurement on where your slit should get up to. So I'm just going to mark it here because I want like a very high slit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open this up up to this point to give us our slit. So guys, after that, by the time you open it up, this is what your slit looks like. So we'll go ahead now and set this aside. So for the back block now, I've also gone ahead to fold my fabric into two. After that, I've placed my back block on it and then I'll go ahead and cut this out. So after cutting it out, by the time you open this up, you are going to have two pieces for the back so this is the upper piece now 
right what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and cut out this so once i cut it out i'm going to have two pieces this way so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to transfer it to the fabric so guys i've gone ahead to place it on the fabric this way so after placing it i'll go ahead now and cut out the fabric then i'll show you guys how to achieve the neckline so guys after cutting it out this is what we have i'm going to set my pattern paper outside and then i'll go ahead and open up the fabric look like so the next thing you are going to do now is to decide what part do you want to be your off shoulder part and what part do you want to be your regular shoulder at this point this totally depends on you okay totally so i'm going to make use of this part now to be like my off shoulder part why this will serve as my arm hole. so what we are going to do now is to determine the number of inches you want to take off note that at this point this totally depends on you okay so you can make it five inches off you can make it six inches it all depends on how off you want this to be i'm going to make use of six and a half inches i'm going to mark six and a half inches you discover that i marked it on the middle piece right and this is where we have okay let me just adjust it and this is where we have our arm o so you are basically going to connect this arm o to this point you are going to connect your arm o to this point and because it's off should is one shoulder it means that this part of your arm is going to be straight so this is what we have this is what we have we've gone ahead now to connect it you can see so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and determine you know so for this other part now where we are going to have our regular shoulder for this part where we have our regular shoulder you're now, you now going to go ahead and cut out your arm hole. so the reason why i didn't cut out the arm is because of this part that will serve as our tube right it's because of this part that will serve as the tube but since we've gone ahead now to mark the off shoulder i made this of six and a half inches i went ahead to connect it to the arm hole because i've notched it earlier on so the next thing we are going to do now is to you know mark out the arm hole of this other part this is our pattern paper i'm just going to place my pattern paper this way you know i'm going to place my pattern paper and mark out where we have our arm hole so this is where our shoulder is can you guys see it let me zoom it in okay so this is where our shoulder is now so we'll go in with our arm o curve and connect the arm o because this part you're going to have your regular arm o you're going to have your regular arm o at this part while at this other part you're going to have your tube arm o so basically you just go ahead now and connect it this way so this is what is going to So this is what it's going to look like you can see so this is a clearer picture of what it's going to look like we have our regular our tube shoulder here and your regular shoulder mark the number of inches how off you want it to be and then just connect it together so i'll go ahead now and cut them out so guys by the time you are done cutting it out this is what it's going to look like so you can see how your neckline is going to be you can see your neckline so this is your regular shoulder now this is where you have for your tube so we'll go ahead now and set this aside so for the back block now i've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two you know i've placed my pattern paper on it and then we've gone ahead to so i'm just going to notch it here to know where is our zipper and where we have the other part so i'm going to go ahead now and open this up now the reason why for me personally i love to cut out like my front piece first on the fabric is to know where the regular shoulder actually falls so that i don't have one shoulder falling one side and then the other shoulder being on another side right so now by the time i place my front block on it this way this is you know the front block by the time i place my front block on it this way this shows me i'm this by the time i place my front block on it this shows me that this is where my regular shoulder for my back block to be so i'm just going to go ahead now and mark the arm o you know i'm just going to mark the arm o already because this is where the regular shoulder is going to be because this is how 
you know the complete version of it is going to be on the back block right so i've gone ahead now to identify what part is going to be the regular shoulder and what part is going to be the off shoulder for the back block so the next thing i'm going to do is also to mark out how many inches deep we want it to be so six and a half inches for the front block i'm also going to make use of the same six and a half inches for the back block right so this is where we have our six and a half inches now on this part now where we have our um on this part where it's going to be our off shoulder right our tube i'm also going to mark out the arm o i'm going to mark out the arm o can you guys see it so this is the arm o now and this is the six inches so i'm just going to connect it also i'm going to place my front block on it you know when i place my front block to mark out the arm o i'm also going to mark out where the shoulder starts from so we're also going to mark out where the shoulder starts from so we are going to connect this now to our six inches six and a half inches we're going to connect it this way to the six and a half inches and then we'll connect it to the tube We'll connect it to the tube so this is basically what we have for the back block i hope you guys can see so this is what we have we marked our six inches we identified where we have our arm o and our shoulder so once you are done connect your shoulder to your six and a half and then you also connect it to the arm o of this part so this is so guys now i've gone ahead to turn this with the lining so this is the back block we have two pieces for the back block and this is what it looks like so i basically just went ahead to turn this with the lining for the front piece now i've also gone ahead to join them together so we've coupled this up the three pieces we have for the front piece and this is what it looks like basically you can also see the bustier effect because i went ahead to add a uh, wording to in so you can see how it just pop up at this box area so this is what we have for the upper piece now for the front piece the lower piece of our front block now this is what we have you can see how i my slit is i've also gone ahead to turn it with lining now when i was cutting out my lining i made my lining shorter than the main fabric so that it can turn up this way and so you can have a nice finishing so when you are cutting out your lining your lining should basically be shorter than the main fabric so this is what we have so the next thing we are going to do now is this is the lower piece of the front block and this is the upper piece of the front block so we are basically going to go ahead now and join this together so that you can have one single piece for your front block and don't forget to add your darts to this lower side of your dress once you are done you just join this together so that you can have one single piece for the front block back block we have two pieces and of course we also went ahead to you know turn it up to have neat finishing so the next thing we are going to do now is basically to attach this together so we are going to take your upper piece of the back block now you are going to go ahead and join it this way you take the upper other piece of the back block and then you join it this way so basically what you are going to do is to attach each pieces this way to give you one complete piece and then you go ahead and stitch this this way to give you one complete piece so once you are done you are going to have like two pieces now for your back block the next thing you are going to do is to go ahead and fix in your zipper right you go ahead and fix in your zipper so that you can have a complete um back block now because the front block have slits you are not going to have any slits at this back block so you're going to stitch it all the way until when you get to where you want to fix in your zip so once i do that i'll show you guys so guys now we've gone ahead to attach our upper piece to the lower piece of the front block and this is what you have you can also see your slits and this is what you have for the front block now for the back block
now for the back block i'm gonna ahead to attach the upper piece to the lower piece the upper piece to the lower piece and we have one complete back block after closing up the back so the next thing we are just basically going to do now is to go ahead and fix in our zipper at this back block so once you are done you know you just go ahead and attach your back block to your front block use your bust measurements waist measurements and your hip measurements to couple this up and also you go ahead and attach your shoulders together so once you are done this is basically what your dress is going to look like you are going to have your mono strap effect your bustier effect and you have your slits i hope this I hope you've learned a lot from this video. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe.